everybody, I'm Peanut Butter Gamer, and today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're doing a sort of solo hardcore series here on PvG Gameplay. I'm playing Fallout 4, and uh, I'll basically be playing just until I die, and then that's it. Uh, if you've seen the regular hardcore series, basically just kind of the same thing, but with just one person. So we're playing Fallout 4, and yes, we have our character Francesco here. <laughs> that's what I decided to name him. He looks pretty awesome. He's clearly been through some stuff. And uh, he's kind of he's kinda skinny. He's in his underwear for some reason. I'm not sure why. I guess we'll fix that. But first, we have to uh, show off the stats that we got. Uh, I went on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and all that stuff and had a little poll. And according to the poll, uh, the three stats we're going with is number one, luck, of course. And then charisma and intelligence were the votes. Would have loved to have had uh, some endurance for the survival run. But, I mean, the people have spoken. And we are going... Going with luck, I guess you guys don't have a lot of faith in me. Maybe you think I need the luck. Maybe that's a valid point. We'll see. Uh, and then charisma. I actually been using charisma on my main character. It's actually very fun. I also been using some intelligence. Those are two stats that I went in with my main guy in the game that I uh, normally don't do. But we're doing them again, and that's fine. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah. I need some armor here. One second. So all we got is the Vol jumpsuit, basically. So we're just gonna put that on for now. So yeah, there's no real goal for this series. I'm basically just gonna play until I die. That's kind of the idea. What quest do I have set right now? I went ahead and skipped all the, uh... Oh, we're just going going home. Okay. I went and skipped all the vault stuff. I don't want to spoil the story or anything like that for people who haven't played. Uh, I'm probably not even going to be doing a whole lot of the main story quests as it is. I'm just going to kind of run around and do whatever happens. My normal, my main character looks a lot more Maybe normal than this. Them. So the Arms voice going out of Francesco is, is a little odd. Uh, but that's fine. We're just going to uh -huh. go ahead and skip all this stuff. We're Codsworth, we're just talking to Codsworth. He is a uh, companion if you haven't played. Uh, I don't He's gone. normally play with companions too much. Doesn't matter how. Um, I, I don't know. I may, I may. You guys let me know. Do you want me to have a companion follow me around? But, uh, or not. And I'll kind of just go with what you guys want. Uh, assuming I don't die in this episode. And then it be all over. Because then there's no, there's no input. Because then I'd be dead. That's how it works. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put our charisma to good work here. You're acting uh, if it's yellow, you're pretty much guaranteed to uh, get, you know, be successful. I mean, I, my, my main character, as I said, is I maxed with charisma. And he has a hat horrible. that increases his charisma too. Uh, so I have never failed a charisma option in the game so far. I don't even know if it's possible if you have that high of charisma. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, Codsworth, shut up. You know I'm Codsworth. trying to go explore. I'm gonna go explore. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm off. I'm just gonna kind of pick somewhere on the map and go there. Uh, uh, oh, no, that's, pick somewhere on the map I haven't been to. I've never gone over here. Let's go over here. Why not? I'm only just now realizing uh, that this is kind of intimidating. Uh, I need to find something to use, some stuff. Okay, so I know we have some stuff here. That's kind of when I went, why I went over here. That drifter outfit will probably do me for a bit. Might as well take the tire iron too. I mean, we. I mean, I don't have any strength though, because you guys didn't want me to, so I don't have any. The drifter outfit actually is not. Doesn't provide. Oh no no no! It does. It provides more protection. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get rid of that. We don't have a lot of strength, so we can't carry too much stuff. And uh, we got the ten millimeter pistol. Oops. Looks like. Oh no! Can't even play games. We'll keep the ten millimeter pistol and the uh, pipe pistol. I might as well have the tire iron at number three. We don't need the security baton. Okay, so let's go ahead and head out into the crazy, crazy world and probably get shot to death. Just in case you were wondering, I do want to mention that the Fallout 3 Bobblehead Collection series is still a go. Still doing that. I just really wanted to play Fallout 4 and uh, do some stuff. And plus, I don't imagine that this series will last that long. So it's definitely not a replacement of the Fallout 3 series. We're still going to finish that. In fact, there's either there's a there's either going to be a new episode before you even see this or one pretty quickly after this. I always pick up cigarettes. I, I don't have my crosshairs on, so apparently I, I can't pick that one up. But I uh, often pick up uh, cigarettes because they sell for a lot. At least the cartons and the c cartons of cigars sell for a lot. So we have a decent amount of ammo and things here. But yeah, speaking of the collection series, I am mad. There's a lot of stuff that w that uh, we could do a collection series of this game l at a later date. Uh, you know, there's bobbleheads, of course, obviously. But the thing I probably would more interested in collecting is there's uh, games you can collect on your 
uh, Pit Boy. So I want to do a collection series of that and then play the games at the end at some point. But first, we've got to survive. So we're focusing on that for right now. Why well, here, zombies? Man, everything's scary. Everything's terrifying. Everything could kill me at any second. Plus, the zombies are, I don't know what I'm calling zombies. They're definitely called ghouls. The ghouls can just, like, come out of nowhere. Lots of enemies can. It looks like just one for now, though. So we're good. We're good. What teddy bear? He looks, he looks terrified. I'm taking him. Why not? I need a teddy bear. Uh, none of this stuff seems useful. Although, a lot, a lot of the junk actually is useful in this game because you can use it to upgrade weapons and build things and stuff like that. So that's uh, just one of the many improve. One of the many improvements. How am I missing? One of the many improvements they added into the game uh, that weren't in, the, in Fallout 3 or any of the previous ones. Another one being you can just look at things and pick them up. It's amazing. It threw me off at first, uh, but it's definitely, definitely a good addition. What was this? Wicked business. Let's play it. Let's see what this is. Blake, I want you to listen to me as a brother here. Well, it sounded like somebody was thinking that bad things were going to happen to him and his brother, and I think that's them. So, yeah, it didn't go so well. We will soon be joining them, I imagine, in a future episode. Hopefully in a future episode. <laughs> we will soon be joining them as skeletons, I fear. So, yeah, I guess I'm still just continuing on to my marker. Uh, only you have already killed a couple enemies. Proud of myself. Till killed two ghouls. What have you done today? I killed two ghouls and didn't die. In fact, I might as well just call it a day. That's, just my, that's, all, the, that's all the work I'm going to get done today. Killed two ghouls. I'm good. I'm done. Right now, I'm mostly just scavenging for for uh, different wep or items and weapons and things. Man, it's freaking radiation all over the place here. The radiation is actually really bad, especially because I don't have a lot of... I don't know if I have any r rat away or rad I guess I should check after I kill these boat flies here. These guys shouldn't be too much of a problem. Although I am playing on hard mode. I don't know if I mentioned that. So this is not even normal mode. This is definitely dangerous. Everything in the game could very well kill me. Yeah, we don't have any rat away or anything like that. I do want to check and see what's in here, though. What's in this wonder glue? I don't know why I'm even picking that stuff up. I mean, I guess I might do some weapon upgrades. They're very useful. Another thing I love in this game. There's so many things about this game that are great. Uh, I love upgrading my weapons, and you can even name them and stuff. It, it just... It, it, uh, most of the time in games, I don't really care about, you know, customizing my weapons and things like that. But in this game... It, it's an RPG. I already get attached to my weapons as it is. What's that? What's that? Oh, it's a bird. <laughs> it's just birds. <laughs> but yeah, it's really cool. You can upgrade your weapons, and there's so many different things you can do with them. And it's just the fact that you can name them. That really, really does it for me. All right, so far, I haven't really run anything into anything too crazy. Uh, we still haven't quite made it to our waypoint. Looks like it's up this way. I don't know why I'm going here, but I decide, hey, I marked it on the map. We gotta make it there. Ah, we're getting close. We're getting close. My guy's constantly tired. If only I had some endurance. If only I had some. Pfft. I'm just kidding. I actually like the luck. I like that you guys went with luck. You guys are going with the fun stuff. Luck and charisma, I dig it. I uh, personally would have chosen endurance as the third option, but hey, hey, it's not up to me. It's not up to me. I'm gonna blame it on uh, the Twitter poll if I die. If I die, when I die. Ooh, a stealth boy. Nice, okay, I'll take that. Definitely could be useful. That's that's gonna bail me out of something. I, I, I can pretty much guarantee you that. All right, so just up this hill is uh, where we have our waypoint set to. I thought that wood was something. It's just wood. Well, I guess it's a tree. It's not really just wood, unless you cut it off. It's still, it's still planted into the ground. It's still rooted into the ground, so I guess it's still a tree and not wood, but whatever. Also, we found our waypoint. There's, there's a rock here. Are you guys excited? We found a rock. Let's go somewhere else. Okay, so basically my plan for now is to just go somewhere where there are people and maybe I'll get a quest. I need to pick up some kind of quest here. You have a decent amount of material. Ooh, okay, it's just Brahmin. Just um, I'm trying to think if I killed them if I would get anything good out of it. Well, they have a lot more health. I've never shot a Brahmin before. I don't want to waste all my ammo, so I guess he's he's free to go. I just put like six bullets into that cow. And I'm just like, nah, never mind. You're fine. You can keep living. The lonely chapel. Let's go in here. I haven't been in here before. 
What's that? What's that? What's that sound effect? I know I've heard that sort of footstep sound effect before. But if I had no perception, I can't like see where anything is. All right. Is that me touching the skeleton? Yeah, that's me touching the skeleton. It's saying caution though. I don't know what I'm being cautioned by. So let's just go in. Oh, I thought, oh, this isn't an instance. I don't know why I was thinking I was going into a separate loading screen. Ooh, Raider chest piece, Raider left leg, Raider left arm. Normally I wouldn't wear Raider gear because I don't want to be associated with, a, with Raiders, but hey, they got some good armor. So I'm going to go with that. I, I need some under gear though, because uh, uh, without it, I just kind of look naked. I mean, I basically am naked. Okay, so we got a dead soldier in here. What else do we got? I don't see anything. You know what? I'm gonna. You know what? I'm calling it here. I'm gonna die from a trap, like I said, mine or something. I'm just gonna blow up. Uh, sorry, I got scared there. I saw something through the window. There doesn't appear to be much in here. I feel like I might be missing something, but oh no, here we go. Federal ration stockpile. Let's go in. Why not? If it's a stockpile, they gotta be stockpiling something useful in there, and we can use it to survive. I don't see anything in here, guys. Don't see anything yet. Although I'm being cautioned. Definitely a turret. I didn't think, I was pretty sure it wouldn't be able to hit me from there, so we're good. Oh, somebody. Oh, okay, there is, no, he is high level, high level. Okay, bailing, bailing, bailing. Where's the exit, where's the exit? I don't want anything to do with this. No, thank you. Why am I playing on hard mode? Hard mode increases the chances that you'll find like stronger enemies and stuff So they may very well follow me. I'm gonna just run for a while See ya peace out <laughs> I love the first sign of danger. I'm just out like no see you later. I'm gone I shot a turret and then ran away. See I need to heal myself a little bit. I think I got some Some uh, purified water that'll do me. I hear something. Ooh, it's dogs. It's rabid dogs. I, okay, I'll probably just kill them. Oh, there's another one there. Okay, these guys shouldn't be too much trouble. Although I don't have crosshairs on, so for some reason, because I decided that it would be harder that way. Um, it's more realistic. Okay, I'm just gonna pistol bash him. Oh yeah, just pistol bash his head off. Okay, so I think that's gonna do it for this episode. But in the next episode, I'm gonna venture forward further into the more middle area of the map, see if we run into anything we can do as a quest uh, that may, I uh, kind of, whoa, whoa! Why, why are you shooting at me? There's just people up there. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Mm, thanks for watching. I almost said bye-bye, but we're not done yet. You can click here to see the next episode if you're uh, late to the party. Uh, it will be available soon for those of you watching it on the day uh, that it came out. You can also subscribe and blah, 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 blah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!